It's late May. The great tree frogs are calling. Mating season has begun in a little drainage swale in the North Burial Ground in Providence, Rhode Island. The tree frogs share this little drainage swale with Fowler's toads, and both of them breed on numerous evenings throughout the spring. The great tree frogs seem to be much more numerous than the Fowler's toads when you hear them calling at night. But when you look in the pond, there are many more Fowler's toad tadpoles than there are gray tree frog tadpoles. You very rarely see the gray tree frog tadpoles. I saw them on only a couple of days this year. Because it's so hard to observe the tree frog tadpoles, I know very little about their behavior compared to what I know about the fowler's toads. The one thing I do know is that they eat pretty much the same thing as the fowler's toads. They scrape algae and bacteria off of the leaves that grow in the, in the pond. Gray tree frog tadpoles grow much larger than the fowler's toad tadpoles. They swim more slowly and seem more graceful. With a diet of algae and bacteria scraped off plants. Great tree frogs and other tadpoles need large intestines to digest this food. The intestine ends up in the tail, which can shrink away when they become adults, as the insects that they eat as adults take much less effort to digest. Part of the reason it's so difficult to observe the tree frogs is that as they become visible here in late June, the vegetation in the pond is growing so fast that within a few more days it totally obscures the water, making observation other than by catching tadpoles and studying them in, in a small container almost impossible. guy swimming by reminds me of a blimp. Last year I caught many more tree frog tadpoles and have much better captive video of them. But this is the only video from this year that really shows the golden belly. I did not see any of these little froglets this year, but last year I saw quite a few, and I figured you would appreciate a view. <laughs>